What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and yes, that's an overquill. Uh, this is a best of three versus Evan, and this is the team Evan brought. Uh, rental code, if you want to try it, is right there in the top right corner. Let me real quick jump over to my team, and here's what I've used. Also a rental code in the corner for you. But anyway, let's jump right on into it. Alright, Evan has a pretty good matchup against me. I've been scared of Kyogre this whole time. Uh, he has the standard Water Spout Origin Pulse Ice Beam Protect with Mystic Water, standard Tornadus with Rocky Helmet. Ogre Pond has Taunt, and that's a Choice Band Overquill that may self-destruct. This is terrifying. This is, this is probably the scariest matchup. Okay, no Taunt on Tornadus, so Wide Guard is perfectly safe against that. Um... I guess I need to fear the other stuff. I think Calyrex Valiant isn't bad. I put Wide Guard out front, they can't do the thing that they want to do. The Kyogre Tornadus is what they want to do, it's what I'm afraid of, and I can stop it. <laughs> I see no need for Incineroar here, uh, so it's either Necromancer or Ogre Pond, and I don't see any priority, so... Maybe Necromancer isn't the way. It must be Ogre Pond. Uh, just in case they get through Valiant, Ogre Pond should be able to beat Kyogre. It is Terra Grass, which they probably wouldn't want to throw, honestly, because of my Calyrex. So I think I have the right four. Um, if this doesn't work, I might go for an adaptation with Farigarath and Valiant on lead. That's a nice trainer card. Very pleasant. That makes me feel much calmer than I did a second ago. Okay, it's Kyogre and it's Overquill. Overquill with the Swift Swim. Uh, Self-Destruct, Waterfall, Throat Chop, Poison Jab. Hmm. They're not gonna self-destruct right here, like... The Wide Guard is so obvious. And he's a good player. Terra Water will mostly protect me from everything they've got. So I think I want to Terra Water Glacial Lance. And maybe I want to coach? I'm only going to be able to get one move off. Most likely. And I think that should be coaching. I think coaching gets me more than anything else does. Okay, no Terra from Overquill. Which could be good or could be bad, we'll see. Uh, at least I have uh, Sinistra in the back for some healing if I do take a lot of damage here. And it's just a Poison Jab into Valiant, that's cool. I assume it might also be an Ice Beam even. But if it's a spread move, it won't be too bad. Because I get the coaching now, which is huge. The Overquill didn't Terra. I was a little worried it would Terra Water to resist the Glacial Lance. And they do go for Water Spout. That is bold. Uh, but Calyrex eats that very nicely, actually. Okay, bulky Calyrex for the win. Um, well, not the win. I mean, I'm behind Pokemon right now. Eh, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, Overquill eats that. Okay, they've got Poison Jab. I see no reason not to go to Sinistra here. Sinistra might even be able to get up a Trick Room in this position. Because Poison Jab plus anything Kyogre does isn't going to take out Calyrex. I would have to worry about the double up taking out Sinistra, but like... I mean, yeah, that is what I'm most worried about. It wasn't Ogre Pond, because Ogre Pond would just drop to a Poison Jab. That's Choice Band Poison Jab. Uh, you know, I don't think Sinistra takes that double up, if I'm being honest. I do have to throw a Glacial Lance. And the only play is Trick Room. I don't think I get the Trick Room. I think, I think he's going to take out Sinistra with either... Okay, it's just Ice Beam? Yeah, there's no way I was going to take that. That's cool. And a crit on Ice Beam. Didn't need to do that. <laughs> I don't think you needed to crit that there. Yeah, but I got the healing already. Sinistra basically did its job. Big Glacial Lance. Kyogre so low. So low on the HP there. 
And another attack boost on Calyrex. Love it. Uh, what's the scariest thing that could be left? Zapdos could be pretty scary. Could potentially knock out Ogre Pond. Uh, Tornadus maybe knocks out Ogre Pond. Archaladon with Electro Shot. That's annoying. But I'm not too worried. I can redirect Electro Shot, and Glacial Lance will do a ton. And your Terra type was fairy on this. Yeah. Which might discourage me from going for high horsepower. But not enough. I'm gonna click high horsepower and I'm gonna click follow me. Because I can't let Electro shot. Oh good, it's just a protect from Kyogre and no Terra. That's perfect. That could not be better, honestly. I will just follow me, and I will knock out our Chaladon, and then I'll be in a great position. Uh, assuming I connect. 95% of the time, our Chaladon is gone. Uh, this probably does a lot to Ogre Pond, but knowing how much it does could be important going forward. Wow, leaves me at 52. And you're gone. Goodbye. Okay. That's great. I need to check my Ogre Pond's speed now, because I may or may not be faster than Kyogre. Because I know- oh, Zapdos. That's fine. Zapdos is most likely faster than their Kyogre, meaning Ogre Pond can redirect the Zapdos hit and then I get a Glacial Lance. Um, 130, that is not faster than max speed Kyogre. Kyogre could move first. So this should be a Protect from Zapdos. Life Orb Zapdos. Does that KO Calyrex? Maybe. So I should Glacial Lance. This should be a Protect from Zapdos. Oh, I'm so scared to make this play. I'm so scared. I Spiky Shielded first. That's not good. Oh no, I did I just throw? Did I just throw? Oh, no. Kyogre's faster. Kyogre's faster than Zapdos. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Okay, no. Follow me wouldn't have worked because Kyogre was faster. Ice Beam would have taken that out. So there was nothing I could have done there. Um, now my play... Zapdos does have Terra Blast. But I need to go for a double spiky shield to get the rain off the field. Aw, oh, man. I don't get it. Good game one. Alright. Wow. That was fun. Okay. Let's move on to game... Oh, and to crit the ice beam. Well, if you were going to crit the ice beam anyway, what, what could I have done there? <laughs> Alright. Good game. Let's move on. Okay. How am I going to change up what I did? Uh, getting Trick Room would be enormous. So I think I need to commit some resources to making that happen. But what resources can I commit to making that happen? Do I bring Incineroar? That might not be the worst idea in the world. Incineroar, Sinistra probably get Trick Room up. We saw how much Poison Jab could do. Instant Sinistra to get Trick Room, then Calyrex. And then maybe still Ogre Pond? Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Um, would Necromancer be better? Hyper Voice Helping Hand? That's not bad either. But I think Ogre Pond, just have something that can take a hit from Kyogre would be pretty big. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. But I need, I need to do something different, and this is the different thing I'm going to do. Because we already know Calyrex can do a ton of damage to Evan's team. We saw that. I just need to get it in the right position. Still, that, that's a great picture. It makes me so calm. Alright, Kyogre and Overflow again. Fantastic. Exactly what I was hoping for. Alright, and then Intimidate down on the Overquill is also really big. Alright, I need to fake out. He doesn't have any ways around Fake Out on this team. Usually you would see 
Uh, I think the Ogre Pawn on that team would usually be like a Sarina, which blocks priority. But he didn't bring Ogre Pawn the first time anyway. Alright. Poison Jab, Self-Destruct, Throat Chop. Could do a lot. I don't think it would KO after the Intimidate though, so I think we're fine. Yeah, this should be fine. Overquill just swaps out, that's fine. Into Archaladon. That is totally cool. Yep, I'm gonna fake you out. Nice little flinchy flinch there. And get up the Trick Room. Alright, now to try to get Calyrex in safely. Best way to do that would be to parting shot Kyogre. And Rage Powder with Sinistra. Right? Yeah, that's what I need to do. Uh, I don't see Kyogre going for a Protect this turn. Uh, but it's a Terra. Probably on the Kyogre, then? Into Grass? Ooh, that's great. I'm cool with that. Uh, the hardest thing you can hit me with is Water Spout on the swap, but you'll be at minus one. Uh, I can cycle Sinistra around a little bit more. It's not the worst thing. Uh, and I can always heal up my Sinistra with a Strength Sap at some point. I'm interested to see the speed interaction between Archaladon and Sinistra, because Sinistra's naturally slower, but who knows what they've got him going over there. Yeah, it's got to be Calyrex. Ogre Pond gives me no momentum here. Ice Horse is on the field, in front of a Grass-type, which is awesome. Yep, it's just Electro Shot. That's cool. problem there. That should bounce mostly harmlessly off, but you are getting boosts now, which is scary. And it is Water Spout. Good call there. Sinistra hangs on. Awesome. Oh, from a crit. Incredible. Alright, our Chaladon moved before Kyogre. I'm going to Terra Water and Swords Dance. And click Rage Powder again. That way anything our Chaladon does goes into Sinistra. And then with Terra Water I should take any hit from Kyogre. So that was 75%. Half times that boost. Yeah, I should take any hit. Oh, it's going to be a tough match. I don't know if I can win this in the amount of turns I have left in Trick Room. gonna be a tough one, but gotta go for it. After the sword dance, I'll have two turns to throw lances. But he did not protect Kyogre here. Which is crazy. I could have just lanced then? Ah, oh, Missed opportunity. That's a rough missed opportunity, honestly. Alright, I wonder if I actually take out our Caladon with Glacial Lance. Well, it doesn't matter, I can just fake it out. It's just Origin Pulse this time, that's even weak. What?! Oh! Good game! <laughs> oh, father. <laughs> yeah, what, what am I gonna do? There's nothing I can do. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well. Okay. I mean, I guess I still try, right? What chance do I have? None, but I still try. Um. 
Flare Blitz crit KOs Kyogre. Our Chaladon does whatever it wants to whoever it wants. Um... No, we double our Chaladon. Somehow get two crits and KO it. Yeah, Kyogre's not attacking this turn. That's good. Uh, that just means it's coming back when it's, uh, Trick Room's over. Yeah, Overquill's in. Hopefully we can do enough to this Archalot. We need to crit, and even then I don't think we do enough. Plus we have to live an Electro Shot for the fir in first place. Which is plus three now, I think? Well, I got destroyed. Kyogre, I always knew. It was my worst matchup. Oh! So if I'm going to lose to crits, I should lose to crits against a matchup that's not in my favor anyway. You know? Just makes good sense. Uh, how's the rain looking? Last turn of rain and trick room. I'll give him a parting shot. Uh, that's, that's a good game. <laughs> oh. Good game, Evan. Like, even with the crit, uh, I was in a pretty rough position. That, that's a good, that's a good team there. Overquill is a super spicy pick. I love seeing that. It didn't do a whole lot, but it does some damage. GG's. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be posting all of the best of threes for this tour, so stay tuned or go back and watch them. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.